Welcome to Oral Communication in Context Subject. I am your subject teacher, Ms. Brenda E. Carabuena. Alright, so let us start our session with a prayer. So before we proceed with today's discussion, let us quickly go through our classroom rules. The first, everyone deserves respect, both students and teachers. When someone else is talking, listen. Raise your hands when you want to speak. Make sure you have everything you need before starting. Show respect for school and personal property. Work and play in a safe manner. Participate in all activities and work hard and do your best. It's now time for our energizer, so please get up in your seats if you're sitting so that you can sing and dance along to the music I'll be playing here. Alright, I hope you're already energized and ready for today's discussion. Okay class, before we proceed to our lesson for today, let's have a quick recap of our previous lesson. So last meeting, we had discussed about the verbal and nonverbal cues that each person or speaker uses to achieve his or her purpose in communication. Nonverbal communication, on the other hand, is the transmission of messages or signals through a nonverbal platform such as eye contact, facial expressions, gestures, touch, voice and many more okay so what are those verbal and nonverbal cues so verbal communication is a type of communication where we use spoken and written words so verbal cues include emphasis cues organizational cues and mannerism cues so now ready yourselves as we are about to unlock a new knowledge so our lesson for today is all about the various kinds of oral texts or what we call talks but before we dive deeper into this so let us let us first know our learning objectives for this discussion so at the end of the lesson, you will be able to, for the knowledge, explain the five various kinds of oral text, for the skill, write a script for the various kinds of talks and role play them, and for the attitude, value the importance of knowing how to match the kind of talk to different situations. Alright, so now let's have an activity first to motivate you and give you a glimpse on what our new topic today will be all about. So this activity is called Picture Analysis. Okay, so I have here two pictures, so look at them carefully as later on, I will ask you some questions, understand? Alright, good, so I'll give you a minute to analyze the pictures presented. Okay, so are you ready? So here's the first question. So how will you describe the three images? Okay, so the images presented depict how communication takes place. So each picture obviously is different in which each person who's talking is trying to convey different messages and purposes based on their facial expression and gestures. So based on the three images presented, so how will you define communication? So based on the three images, we can define communication as the exchanging of ideas and feelings. And when communicating, each speaker has different purposes and goals that they want to achieve. Now we will have another short activity. So I have prepared here five dialogues. So you are going to identify the purpose of communication depicted in each dialogue. So I will call on students to answer my questions. So ready yourselves. So first quest, first sentence is, hand me the towel next to you. So what do you think is the purpose of the speaker when she said this? Correct. So the speaker here is trying to give a command to the person that she's talking to. So number two. What did you learn about the webinar? How about this one? That's correct. So the speaker here is trying to gather some information by asking the person she is talking to. Third, how are you today? So what is the purpose of the speaker? Okay, so here the speaker is just trying to start a conversation or simply to socialize. Fourth, I, I know you did your best, so don't be sad. What about this one? Okay, so in here the speaker is trying to motivate the person that she's talking to. And lastly, number five, I wouldn't have said that if you didn't provoke me. How about this? All right, so here the speaker is trying to blame someone. So overall, this shows that each person has their own purposes when they communicate. So it can be simply to socialize, to influence, to command, or to inform. So I have here some questions that is based on our short activity. So first, what did you notice in the sentences given based on the activity. So are all of those dialogues appropriate to say in every situation? 
Alright, so those dialogues are not appropriate to say in every situation. So it's important to know the purpose of your talk and you should examine the kind of situation you're in to avoid conflict. So, so you need to consider what you want to say and why you want to say it. Next question. So what are some of the things you want to achieve when you communicate something? Okay, so there are a lot of things that we want to achieve when we communicate. So this include being able to share our thoughts and feelings, to build good relationships with other people, and to understand the world better. Whenever we communicate, we always have a definite purpose, which is usually intentional, receptible or recognizable, and functional or designed to achieve something positive. So now let's define what is oral sex. So an oral text is a form of oral communication which is the process of conveying messages from a text by the use of mouth. Now let's uncover and comprehend the various kinds of oral text which is the main focus of today's discussion. So the functions or purposes of communication can be effectively realized and fulfilled by using different kinds of oral text or what Locke calls talks. So the talks may be small talk, light control talk, heavy control talk, search talk, and straight talk. So first, let us discuss what is small talk. So small talk is a form of non-threatening communication that may be used to affect social interaction. So one of the reasons why we communicate is to connect with others or with ourselves. So social interaction or small talk is the most used form of communication that we, we've been using. So this kind of talk can help achieve the following specific purposes. To maintain the status quo, or to maintain the way things are now. The so small talk is used to break the ice, to get acquainted, and to establish relationships. So we often use small talk, especially when we hold converse conversations with our classmates or with our friends. So the next kind of oral text or talk is light control talk. So light control talk is the tactful use of power to get results. So it may be used to motivate others. So when we say tactful or tact, it means it means saying the right thing at the right time. So light control talk is a kind of talk where you speak in a respectful and supportive manner that considers the feelings of others. So this uh, controls the behavior of person in a good way without invalidating others' feelings. And this control will, ad will adhere to the, to the situation and it creates a positive environment and encourage better relationships with other people. So light control talk has the following specific purposes. First, to persuade, to direct, to seek but not force agreement, and to use legitimate authority. So students, let me remind you that knowing how to be tactful is an essential trait and skill to have in any social setting. So that is light control talk. So the third one is heavy control talk. So in contrast with light control talk, heavy control talk is designed to place blame and to control or regulate people. So this type of communication creates defensiveness on the part of the receiver and is rarely, if ever, appropriate. So this kind of talk can be associated with the word tactlessness. So when we say tactlessness, it is the lack of consideration for, for how somebody else would feel if one were to say or do something. So tactlessness can manifest itself in several ways such as using offensive language and refusing to be sensitive to someone's feelings. So, heavy control talk has the following specific purposes. So, to blame, to threaten, to attack, to coerce, and to demand. To so note that to become an effective communicator, we must avoid this kind of talk to avoid conflicts and for us to maintain good relationships with other people. Now, let's have search talk. So search talk is another non-threatening approach when you want to gather data or the consensus of others to be able to provide information. So search talk has the following purposes, which is to center on an issue and to examine and clarify the issue. So search talk is basically a kind of communication or talk you use when you want to search for additional information from other people in order for you to achieve a holistic understanding of a specific topic or simply finding a solution to an issue that you are studying. And the last kind of oral text or talk is the straight talk. So straight talk is good for problem solving and conflict resolution because it may be used to facilitate emotional expression for catharsis. So when we say catharsis, it is the act of purging, cleansing, and unloading or 
or releasing of ideas and emotions. So straight talk is a type of communication that uses simple and direct means to convey a message. It is usually done with people you have a bond relationship. For instance, if you ask your sister why she's angry, so you simply ask for the reason and try to understand that person's reason why she's angry without criticizing or judging her for his actions. So the specific purposes that it hopes to achieve are the following. To concentrate on the here and now, to focus on issues, to share feelings, to acknowledge feelings, and to accept without judging. So let me remind you again, students, that to be a good straight talker, you need to be a good listener and uh, open-minded, all right? Okay, so those are the various kinds of oral texts and their purposes. Okay, I have some questions here to test if you really did understood our lesson. So the first question is, so what are those five kinds of oral texts we discussed? Right, so we have discussed small talk, light control talk, heavy control talk, search talk, and straight talk. Second question, so what are the different purposes that each talk wants to achieve? Alright, so small talk is for socializing, light control talk is for influencing, heavy control talk is for directing or commanding, search talk is for gathering information, and straight talk is for sharing feelings and showing understanding of the other person who's in a very emotional state. So the third one is, is it necessary to match the kind of talk to the situation? Why or why not? So of course, it is necessary because it will make it easier for us to communicate our thoughts, prevent misunderstanding, and improve our relationship with other people. So the last one is, do you think it's important to learn about these various kinds of talk? Okay, right, so we need to learn about this kind of talk for us to be able to understand the different purposes of communication and how to match them in a kind of situation or talks that we will have. So these oral texts or talks will help us understand that part of effective communication is knowing what is our purpose and how we are going to deliver our thoughts and feelings or ideas based on the kind of situation and the people we are talking to. Now let's have an activity for you to apply what you have learned from that discussion. So this activity is called role playing. So here is the instructions. So you or the class will be divided into five groups. So each group will be assigned a specific kind of talk. Then they will cite scenarios and create a minimum of 15 dialogues based on their assigned kind of talk. After that, they will perform their created scenario in front of the class. So they are given five minutes to prepare and two minutes to present. So here is the rubrics for you to be guided on creating your script and performing your scenarios. Okay, good job everyone for that amazing performance. Now let's evaluate ourselves if we really did understand the lesson that we have just discussed. So this assessment is divided into three parts. The first one is multiple choice. The second one is a table which you are going to fill with some information and lastly is, is the essay part. So you can do this on A1 whole sheet of paper. It's a part one multiple choice so here's the instruction for this. So read the following questions carefully and choose the letter that best describes the answer. So write your answers in a one whole sheet of paper and this has only five items. So for part two, it's called fill me up. So the instruction is fill in the table below with the information learned from the discussion earlier about the kinds of talks and their purposes. So you may use words or phrases in filling out the matrix. So the first item is already given. And the last part is the essay part. So the instruction is answer the following questions below. All right, so before we end this session, of course, I will give you an assignment. So this, called, this is called movie line search. So the instruction for this assignment is search for iconic lines or dialogues in Filipino movies that match the five oral texts we have discussed and explain why. So provide at least three movie lines or dialogues. So it should be from three different movies. So write it on a one whole sheet of paper. Okay, so before I end this session, do you have any questions or clarification regarding the topic? 
if there's none, then we're done. So, thank you everyone for listening. I hope that you have learned something from this session. So, see you on our next meeting. God bless and stay safe. Goodbye!